Hi, it's Julie from juliefit.com. How are you guys doing? I know it's been a little while since my update when I was very excited about Insanity. And much to my disappointment, if you haven't been following my Facebook personal page, I've decided to admit defeat. I can't do it. Right now, anyway, I can't do it. So for now, I'm just going to put that up on the shelf. I'm actually still going to pull it out to do the cardio abs on occasion. But for now, I just need to set that back and continue on to my fitness journey. So it was fun, but right now my knees just don't feel comfortable with all the impact on them. I've tried moving, you know, my butt back, make sure I land softer on my feet. And it's just at the end of the day or the next day when I'm doing my workout, I just feel like I feel like they're about to break. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm on the verge of if I move wrong just the slightest bit. If I move wrong, I'm going to hurt myself, and I just don't feel that that's a good way to live your life every day. So I've decided to go ahead and move forward with P90X. I was originally going to start P90X on March 15th, which was about a week after I was going to originally finish Insanity. That was before all this knee drama. And um, so anyway, yesterday was my day one, May 3rd. And so, wait, yeah, May 3rd. So today would make it my second day. So yesterday was chest and back. And first of all, it was actually, it didn't take that long. I should say it was chest and back followed by ab ripper X. And it didn't feel like it took that long. It really was a pretty dang long workout, but that's kind of how P90X is. It's just a little bit over an hour. And so I'm used to Shalene Extreme, which was like 45 minutes. And then Insanity was longer uh, with 50 minutes. And then especially into the max workouts, you were pushing an hour. So straight away with P90X, that's the way it is. So anyway, let me tell you, Tony Horton, okay, I remember Pink's comment on Oprah. But Tony Horton reminds me of, like, Jim Carrey of fitness, where he always has to say something goofy all the time. Anyway, that's kind of a sidebar. But uh, anyway, the workout involved a lot of pull-ups, a lot of push-ups, and a little bit of weight work. And this morning I was surprised because I was sore, but uh, I wasn't as sore as I thought I would be. But man, through the day, it just got worse and worse, especially as I was working, sitting at the computer like this, and then I would go to reach, it's like, oh my gosh. So it's really a lot of the supportive muscles around my shoulders from the pull-ups, because I cannot do a pull-up. It has always driven me crazy. I don't think I've done a pull-up since I was in like second grade for some uh, Ronald Reagan type thing, and uh Anyway, that's, I mean, I, I just found the certificate several years ago, so that's the only way I remember that. And um, so anyway, I'm really excited about being able to do pull-ups by the end of this. And I'm hoping that by day 30, I will be doing unassisted pull-ups. But for now, I'm doing assisted pull-ups by putting a foot on the chair. So as far as videotaping my workouts, I do plan to do that. Um, I'm working on setting up a new... Uh, setup. I'm setting up a new setup in the workout room and I'm really excited about what my plans are for that and so I'm going to use the camcorder we have with the goal to get uh, a flip cam down the road but for now uh, I just want to go ahead and just use the camera we've got but I really like using this camera, this eyesight camera but I think it's time to move on to the tripod and my own Rebel uh, T1i was a little overkill. I want to get a real camcorder that can focus whenever I'm moving and doing my dorky stuff. So anyway, I need to go head out there and do my plyometrics workout. It's about an hour. And when I get back, I'll talk more about my, stat my stats from last week. Hmm, I'm actually still trying to decide. I might actually just type my stats out. I'll comment on them in the video here. But I'll probably just type them out onto my blog on Julie Fit. So if you're really interested in seeing how that's going, you can look at it. So uh, anyway, 
Uh, I have a new Facebook page so that you don't have to become my friend if you want to immediately follow what's going on with me. And it's you can join it by going to facebook.com slash kikipow. And you're still welcome to become my friend. It's a sillier name. It's facebook.com slash eurasinia. You're better off just clicking on the link than trying to type out the name. Um, yeah, that name, it's a nerd name. People have asked me on my YouTube channel what it means, and I explain it there, so go check that out. So anyway, I'm, 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 I'm going off on a tangent, so I better get in there and go work out. So I'll see you in a few. So I'm back after completing plyometrics of P90X, and it was a pretty good workout. Um, I have to admit that it wasn't too bad. I mean, it did kick my butt, okay? I don't want you to think that I just walked through it, because I definitely didn't. There were times when I had to stop, catch my breath, couldn't finish all the way through, definitely. However, after insanity for 42 days, which is like that workout every single day, it wasn't horrible, horrible, which is good. I'm really looking forward to the rest of this program because so far it's been fun and completely doable. Um, the hour was intimidating looking at it, but you know, like before, it went by fast. Basically, you know, you do your warm ups and then he gives you four moves. The first three you do in 30 seconds, the last one you do for a minute, and then you repeat. And then the ne and then he kind of mixes them up and so on. Knee-wise, I'd say probably towards towards the end like in the last third of the workout. No, probably even later. My right knee started to bother me a little bit. So like on the rock star jumps, for example, where it's like you're doing the air guitar thing. Uh, the first time I did it, I did try to jump. And so by the time I got to the last exercise, my knee was a little irritated. The second time around, instead of jumping and kicking my ankles back, I just kind of um, jumped with my calves. So I used my calves more on that workout. And so by the time I got to the last exercise in that little round, uh, my knee was fine. I could actually do that exercise better. Um, so that's just something I have to watch for. Um, someone had mentioned, you know, P90X will be fine in plyometrics because there's a guy with one leg, and yeah, he does have one leg, and he does great. He has a prosthetic leg instead, but at the same time, he doesn't have the knee problem. Um, I'm sure he has, everybody has their own problems, so anyway, I think plyo is going to be fine with my knee. I've just got to listen, 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 um, and then, uh, well, anyway. So that's how that went, 545 calories for 64 minutes, and I don't think my heart rate was in the maximum red light zone as much as insanity, but that's okay. It was still a great workout, and, um, you know, it's not so much about the cardio anyway. I felt like in insanity, because it's more cardio, although you're still doing a lot of muscle building using your own weight, um, I still think that... You know, the rest of the program balances it out with P90X anyway. So, um, so, I'm try fishing for things to say. So anyway, I'll just leave it at that. I have, I want to invite you again to join my Facebook page at facebook.com slash kikipow, K-I-K-I-P-O-W. And kikipow is actually, um, originally came up as the sound that, of thunder. The sound of thunder is kiki pow. So anyway, it's just a fun little term that I've always liked to use, especially uh, with explosive things. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, and that's it. Bye.